Hey everyone, so I'm back. I, I've been wanting to start YouTube again for a long time. Um, so I'm back, but I'm going to be making uh, shorter videos, more tip-oriented videos. And today I want to talk about five ways to get more sales on eBay, right? So uh, I got my notes over here, so don't mind if I look over there quickly uh, for the five things that I wrote down. So number one, selling more in specific niches, right? If you're selling random stuff, collectibles and belts and shoes and all sorts of random home items and you know there there's a uh, not a lot of cross-selling going on you're not gonna get very com many combined orders but if your entire store was all just CDs music CDs you're gonna get a much higher uh, amount of people purchasing multiple items from you you will get more sales right people will look at your store and see you you know uh, and and this ties into the second tip, which is combined order discounts with using promotions. I have a buy one, get one 15% off on uh, both of my stores, or my lar both of my larger stores, and on one of those stores, 50% of my orders, 50, 50% of my orders are combined orders, meaning they buy more than one item, 50%. That's huge. My other store, not as much, because I sell everything else in that store. So the one thing I dove deep in and I'll share with you guys is Pokemon cards. I have a huge Pokemon card store and 50% of my orders are multiple, which is amazing. It saves on shipping, saves on time, and my sales are increased by a lot. That one promotion has a 47% increase in sales for me. For So yeah, it's about 50%. Number three is not promotions, but promoted listings, right? Uh, eBay rolled this out. Uh, I don't even know when months ago or could be close to a year now. I'm not an entirely certain on when it came out, but it's out and it's working, right? So promoted listings, you can do 1%, which I highly recommend at least doing that, even if you don't like it or anything. Um, I do this in my Pokemon card store. I have 1% and I get about $1,000 in sales extra per month and I pay $10 for that, right? which is 1%. So I'm paying $10 for an extra $1,000 in sales. Now, if I did the trending rate or much higher, I would get a lot more sales, but I would have to pay a lot more. I don't necessarily want to eat into my margins more than that. But 1% is great. Same thing with the other store. I've been experimenting with a couple other things. But promotion, promoted listings is something that will help you increase sales uh, and things like that. Number four, optimizing your listings for international shipping. Right? Don't ignore the other whole part of the world uh, other than America even though uh, US is definitely probably gonna be your number one um, especially my Pokemon score which is very optimized for international sellers I get at least uh, 10 to 15 percent of my orders are sorry that light went off it's a sensor light 10 to 15 percent of my orders are international orders which is huge right so let's say I'm, say I'm doing ten thousand dollars a month that's uh, sorry, one thousand to fifteen hundred dollars per month extra just by optimizing my listings for international shippers to make it worth their while. Now I have a couple envelopes over here. So we sold now my everything store. Uh, these are little Pokemon coins. Um, these sold for about twenty dollars. Okay, so um, they can fit in this envelope, and there are things that can fit in this envelope too, as long as it's under three quarters of an inch thick and it's not bigger than about this. I don't need the exact sizes, you gotta look into it, but it can be sold as a large envelope, right? A three quarter inch large envelope, international, which this, inside of this, will sell any, will ship almost anywhere in the world for under $5, which is amazing, right? So if you can optimize your listing so that anywhere around the world, people are seeing that that's shipping for that, um, that is, that will get you more sales because there'll be more people because even though you're listed just in the US even when you search for things on the US one there are things that come in from other countries uh, the UK and other places um, just to fill up the the feed if there's not too many listed in the US or there's better listings other places so there's other things you should definitely leverage flat rate like let's say your, your item weighs five pounds but it fits perfectly and is protected well in a flat rate padded envelope don't do calculated shipping with five pounds because 
some people it's going to be very expensive do just a flat rate padded envelope and charge people for that or do a flat seven dollars right because it's 690 cost them more but you can you just you know break it even or you can do five dollars and, and have it buy it into your cost a little bit but make it much more worthwhile for anyone in the u.s because it fits in a flat rate padded so definitely optimize your shipping optimize your international shipping um i do use um the uh what is it called where you ship it to kentucky ah it slipped my mind but um and the last thing is very obvious it's just list more you want to sell more you list more right you want to sell ten thousand dollars of stuff a week list ten thousand dollars of stuff a week and eventually that will catch up right as long as you're buying stuff that's desirable and pricing it at a competitive price there should be no problem you should catch up eventually now it doesn't mean list one item with quantity of a thousand right that you really have to work on that I'm talking to more on one-off items if you really want to sell that much then you got to list that much and that is you know you can work on different things as far as average sell price and stuff like that to work on that but that's just list more right um, one uh, habit is great you know if it, you just whatever you think you can handle in a day so you know cut that down to like five percent of that and do that every day so if you really think you can handle 40 listings a day just try and get five listings up every day every day and keep yourself to it right and and make yourself do it in 30 minutes or 20 minutes or whatever you think you can do do and and just be consistent with that you can go more above and beyond that but make that a habit every day uh, other than like sunday or something or saturday whatever you whatever you want to do and um build that habit in if you have inconsistencies and then go from there um rather than making a goal not being able to reach it and getting discouraged you can meet your goals and then have free time afterwards um to to do what you, you know list more and do what you want to do so anyway, i'm going to stop it there i hope this was informational these are going to be the types of videos uh from now on i might do some amazon stuff this is our amazon shelf here we sell a lot of used uh used items we sell some new items improved in adidas we sell some of that well i, I do all sorts of stuff so uh if you if there's any videos you would like to see um, I've sold on many different platforms and done a lot of stuff. Uh, it would also help if you guys subscribe and like the video. And any questions or comments, leave them down. I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you next time. Good to be back.